Life gives you lemons, make lemon curd. All right, so, lemons, sugar, and eggs. Four simple ingredients. I'm gonna point you over to that side over there. It's so basically gonna use lemon juice, lemon zest, some of the lemon zest. I don't like to use all the lemon zest. It just becomes too lemon zesty. Makes any sense. Sugar, so I look at a four, five, six. Um, the, the zest just been an additional and then nine eggs all right the ratio if you want to look at it two parts liquid one part egg and if you look at the recipe the butter and the juice I consider butter as um, a liquid the, the sum of those two is 900 and there's nine eggs which is 450 milliliters of um, eggs if you're using large eggs with 50 grammars and then sugar to sweet First thing I'm going to do, because my eggs took about 25 minutes and 23 eggs to actually get them to balance like that, I'm going to remove them because if I knock this table, everything's going to fall and break. So I put them on, then I break the eggs into a blender, and then you get rid, rid of all the snotty bits when you blend it. So, Zest the lemons and juice them. So I'm going to measure a ball, but basically just taking the yellow bits. Avoid the white bits because the white bits make it really, really bitter. Be careful um, using a very sharp grater. I actually like older graters because they don't grate my hands up. Now that I've got that, I'm just going to chop it up. I want a little bit of lemon zest into the in the um, curd itself, but not big chunky bits. So I'm going to chop it up, and then when I'm finished with the curd, I'm going to strain it just to take out any unnecessary bits. Some people like it, I don't. If you like it, leave them in into the pot and then slice all the lemons so I've got a fancy juicer not that fancy actually when you're walking down especially in the Mediterranean they still do this on the sweet corners and you get fresh juices which is really really cool Okay, so I'm just going to measure it here. Now it's all it. Okay, zero, so I need 400, 300 to go. Okay, I lied to you when I wrote it down. I didn't want eight pieces of lemon zest, it's just the four lemon zest, as per shown. It just, I just find when it gets too much zest, too much zest in it, it gets a little bit bitter. All right, now I've got my 400 milliliters of lemon juice okay I've got the sugar I'm gonna put about th about three quarters yeah don't quote me on that and I'm gonna boil it up whilst the pot's on the stove I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar the eggs put a lid on spray paint my kitchen lid. by doing that gets rid of all the little, do you know those snotty bits? Those ones. All right, and I'm gonna strain it anyway, so it'll get rid of any extra little snotty bits. Now with the butter, I'm just gonna cut it into easily dissolvable little slabs. Some people take the butter and they boil it together with the lemon. I don't like to do that, I find it splits the butter. I like to cool it down with the butter after I've added my eggs. So I'm gonna get my texture with my eggs. And I'll show you how to do that and so basically make a um, creme anglaise. Now everybody's going to say, every time I get lemon curd, all I do is I accept it graciously because everybody at the same time makes lemon curd. Watch the span. Through the next few weeks, we're going to make a whole lot of different things with lemon. So, wait for the lemon. The lemon and uh, sugar is boiling. I'm gonna, I just left it boil for about 
two minutes just to open up the lemon zest to get as much flavor as we can. When it's boiled, switch the stove off, let it stop bubbling, and then at the same time, add your eggs. Right, at this stage, you can really mess it up. If you're going to add it and you're not going to keep stirring it, what's going to happen is your eggs will turn to scrambled eggs. And that's the worst thing you can do. Mary Berry will tell you that it needs to coat the back of a spoon. It's not yet coating the back of the spoon. I'm just going to put the, the stove on low and I'm slowly going to cook the eggs. Right. If you're not confident to do this without making scrambled eggs, um, I recommend you use double boiler. I'm a little braver, so I don't like to use a double boiler. You just need to keep moving it and try not to get it too hot. And then I have the butter that's gonna cool it. You see it's nice and coated. Creates a rose, they call it a rose point, because when you blow it, creates a pattern of rose. To cool the lemon juice down, because if you don't, what's going to happen is your lemon curd will split because the eggs will get too hot. You cool it down with the butter and you melt the butter into it. Mm. By doing this, what happens is that you keep the, the, the butter doesn't split. Um, it's whole butter. Okay, and there you can see it's beautiful and thick. Perfect rose point. Now, straining it. I like it nice and smooth, some people don't, but I just find that it gets rid of any lumpy bits if the egg is solidified. So basically just strain it through a nice fine strainer. If you don't want to strain it, you don't have to, it's just me. Some people like the chunkies, um, I don't. Uh, leave it in, don't leave it in, put a little bit of lime in. Into a jar, now I've prepared my jars, I put them into a hot oven, steam them, I've got a steam roaster, so, oh no, it's just not enough. Um, steam roaster, so I steam it for about five, 10 minutes, get rid of all the nasty bugs. Don't worry, I don't need to preserve that because it's not gonna last that long. All right. Also, when you're dealing with um, these ones, I do reuse them, but I'll also steam them in, in the oven, make sure that they through the heat of that will eventually preserve it will suck it in don't need to do that one do I lemon curd just to check how well I did look at the back of the spoon beautiful and coated stunning rose